back to Wake after a weekend camping trip. Hey, how you doing? I didn't really explain too much this weekend as to what happened. That's to respect some privacy, but it wasn't anything really too serious, um, but serious enough. We had a, a medical emergency while we were in um, um, Uranus, which sounds ridiculous to say. I, all I can say is I, I think of uh, the term ludicrous to mean something that would be funny if it wasn't also in a way sad or tragic and this was very ludicrous um, anyway we had a medical emergency it it was um, one of our party it wasn't a member of our family it was a close friend that came with us and he's okay he just uh, had a little spell and we had to have him checked out by the EMTs and and um, you know, the EMTs said he was fine, so we went on with what we had planned. We thought everything was going to be finished. We were going to spend the night in the hospital, yada, yada. Luckily, we didn't have to, and fortunately, he's all right and doing well. And uh, so, yeah, just, it was, when, when I was talking in the video about my, um, about us taking the pictures and just being kind of discombobulated it was true I mean we were really actually in a in kind of a state of shock and was still going on with what we had planned which was very strange but not disrespectful in any way um, you know we had all been checked out and, or he had been checked out and so we were fine and um, so that was this weekend. Actually, the weekend turned out really nice besides that one incident. Um, you know, we, we got to talk to and get a nice tour with a very interesting person who loves the place she lives and um, is very much into life and her art and showed us around Route 66, her port part of it, and, you know, like I say, and like I said before, when you when you go travel places, it's not the places. You know, there are a lot of things where people go on vacations as tourists, and you know they stick selfie sticks in everybody's eyes, and you know, and travel in large obnoxious groups, and and I think those would be the oh, those would be very forgettable types of vacations. You know, never leave the hotel room kind of thing traveling a tour bus I, I think that would be very forgettable but to actually get an inside tour an inside look of, of something the way somebody who's from the local area sees it a, a glimpse into their life and culture culture if you are fortunate to be able to travel that way then that's that's the real blessing of life and that's why we travel so we can give of ourselves and learn from others and make the world a bigger and smaller place at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense. But, I don't know, you can cue the violins now. Uh, I, I'm back from wake, or back from that, and so did my wake today, now I'm going home. Gotta clean up and take my nap. Woohoo! Gotta run errands. Actually, gotta go to the dentist. <sighs> but look at how pretty the world is today. Ooh, ah. Medical Plaza. Ah, nothing like having your teeth cleaned. It's a good feeling. It lasts about half an hour. <laughs> I used to work at this building in the summers. This was uh, my summer job was keeping the grounds. 
uh, you know, cutting grass, things like that. And in the winter, I guess they were nice to me. They, they had me go in the building and clean the light fixtures out. I mean, it, it, people don't remember this now, but a lot of offices used to have people smoke inside the offices. And the light fixtures and the ventilator, you know, the air conditioning vents, we get all yellow with very little time, so I had to go in and clean them up. Anyway, I wonder if I can find my car in this garage. I mean, it's really difficult. Hmm? Hmm? And <laughs> I got Rockstar parking. Cha-cha-cha. Hey, Dongs. What's up, pup? Where's Miss Stella? Stella! Where are we, Dongy? Where is this, huh? Where are we? Far K? Are you excited? Let's go. And the doggies are sitting and waiting for me in the dentist's office, so I had brought them just to get a change of scenery. And uh, I was like, oh, this is on the way, so let's stop in for a little bit. And enjoy the beautiful fall day. Beautiful weather. It's interesting. My neighbor has hired a leaf service. Or at least her yard is clean for now. I don't know if that worked or didn't, but uh, uh, I had my nap. Now I got to do some errands. And my latest, newest, ridiculous rig uh, that can be seen Osmo pocket on a mount with a. I got the wireless to work. Is it took forever to try and figure out how to get this wireless to work and uh, the mounting and everything is crazy. Hmm, got some wind. It's a beautiful day. Gotta get me some coffee. Welcome to Friendly Beams. What can I get for you? Um, may I have a, uh, a large uh, coffee frappe? Sure, a large coffee frappe. Anything else for you? Nope, that's it. You say frap, I say frappe. Let's call the whole thing off. Coffee.
coming, Jim. All right, sit, 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 sit. <laughs> you really hate that fly, Stella, sit. So I brought the other camera instead. Ooh. Come on, dogs. <sighs> we haven't been to this dog park in forever. So, and Stella already made, it's not even worth it. It's like a bird turd. The North Kansas City Dog Park called Wagon Tails. I think I'm going to uh, forget about these dog parks for a while, at least until the beer flu has subsided, however long that takes. I am um, not trying to be judgy or anything. I just, I don't think it's safe. There was a guy out there who was sweating profusely, and sneezing and coughing. Lord knows what he has. And you know what? God help him. He was the most friendly guy there. He was a lonely guy. He wanted everybody to come talk to him. And uh, the rest of people, I mean, there's the American narcissistic bad habit of standing in the middle of a pathway and carrying on a conversation. I mean, it lasted the whole time I was there. Everybody had to move around these people to socially distance because they weren't going to move. They were wrapped up in their in their world. Oopsies. And, uh, oh, like I say, to each his own. I don't want to sound judgy or crazy or, I mean, I could be a, a spreader. So it's for other people's protection as well. I just don't feel like people are getting it that, you know, you need to, to stay apart and and wear a mask and whenever I go out in public areas I don't see that and uh, we're we're on the eve of this either blowing over or being really bad and who knows what's gonna happen I can't predict no one can predict I mean I can look at the as a civilian I can look at the few documentaries I've seen on the history of it or you know read stuff that doesn't mean anything I mean if you've seen what what has happened before then you can just kind of use that as a guide and so I'm kind of kind of using that as a guide and having high hopes but low expectations my low expectations say that if you want to if you want to live you live listen to the experts and you just do a few things Put a piece of cloth over your face. Stand apart from other people. Don't go into areas that are that where people aren't doing those things. And and I guess that's what I have to do from now on until at least through the winter. I mean, if I don't, then I only have myself to blame. So, and I've got to think about myself and and the kids and my wife and anybody else I come in contact with. I mean, I know it's hard. It's just really, really hard. We're, we're social animals. And it, it goes against our instincts to do the, these kind of things, but it needs to be done. So I guess I don't, like I say, I don't want to sound self-righteous or judgy. I'm, I'm probably just as bad as anybody else. So anyway, got to move on.
it's Friday afternoon and it's time to chillax a little do something I haven't done in a while trip over the dogs here <laughs> oops I'm here at sister Anne's and I'm gonna get you know what mm, you know what and Satanizer <laughs> Coffee. I'm here in Columbus Park, neighborhood of Kansas City, Missouri, the old Italian section, which has been kind of taken over by Vietnamese, much to the um, benefit of the Vietnamese community and Kansas City. I'm here to go to Vietnam Cafe and pick up some uh, grub for the fam. We love our Vietnam Cafe. Mmm, Vietnam. And the centerpiece of this community is um, Holy Rosary Church. This is the heart of any good Catholic community. And the Italians and the Vietnamese have large populations of Catholics. Oh, I got our grub, Rachia. Mm, the goods. Love this stuff. Anyway, time to go home and have din din. Man, this weather is beautiful. Jeez. It's picture, picture time. Kids that got their costumes, and we're gonna take some pictures with the leaves and the costumes. We have Luke as Spider Man with Zach giving him tips on how to be a good Spider Man. Got a nice long lens with Aunt Su Yen's butt in the way. <laughs> Luke, keep facing this way, don't move. I don't know if these are working or not. Jimmy is so enthused, right, Jim? Batman. I'm. You're supposed to say no. He's Spider Man. Da 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 da. Fat dog. Are you flipping out, Stella? Now we're doing the Mandalorian. AKA Zachariah. There he is with the wind blowing. There's the Mandalorian. Looking at our picture, picture. These are sequestered off, so they can be out of the way. Exotic locations in our backyard. Posing, picture, picture. It's the Zachariah, it's behind the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, played by Zachariah Steffens. Strange and exotic scene locations in our backyard. <laughs> They're very cute, but deadly. Ugh. There's pirate number two. Going to the lake. I really love the view here. Nice. Saya is walking the plank. AKA the dock at the lake. Alright, put the knife up. But you gotta turn and look this way, Saya. With your face, not your body. Wow, other than taking pictures, this is a great spot in our own neighborhood. Looking away. And I'm gonna go have some coffee. Yes. I'm in my the missus car because she wanted me to check the tires. And unfortunately, I didn't bring my mask. So after here I'm gonna go to trip quick and get some masks, I guess, to finish my errands. Get some coffee. I'm admiring the uh, the uh, Dia de los Muertos 
said that wrong. <laughs> Artwork they have in here is cool. Cardo's Market. Neato. Oh, and sanitize your bones. I got hand sanitizer. And Kansas City and a cop. I like that one. They're $15. Kansas City in a coffee cup. And then they got it all over the walls too. The original artwork. Coolness. All right. So I'm looking at this. Ricardo Rizzo, Kansas City born artist. And there's his information. I don't know if they can be read, but I do like this time of year, actually. Despite the uh, fighting seasonal affectation and uh, the weather turning crummy, I like Halloween. Look at this, Emily. Hit me up. Hook me up. Hit me up. Hook me up. <laughs> With a mask, which is good because this coffee is making me. Oh. <laughs> we won't talk about that. It's doing what coffee does. Now I gotta go. Oops, finish my errands. And eh, try not to trip down these stairs. Ooh. Oh, and the weather's supposed to change. It's supposed to be really cold and yucky tomorrow. Oh, and speaking of hitting me up, we talked about seasonal affectation. Excuse me while I find my keys. And Emily gave me some vitamin C packets. What a friend. I mean, really. I didn't find the keys, but I found the vitamin C packets. So I'm going to try this to see if it helps because when I came home after hearing that voice in my head the very first thing I did was load it up on vitamin D oops and so I'll try it uh oh anyway I gotta concentrate on what I'm doing I know I know can't can't walk and chew gum at the same time. All right, so woo. like something's happening the weather is changing two of my errand I gotta go here to the grocery store and get some things for dinner tonight look at the pumpkins let's see two pounds ground beef 90 93 percent chocolate cake Texas toast garlic bread garden salad garden salad doesn't it all come from the garden well somehow I managed to find it Okay, so I really don't understand these shopper cards. They say it's not really good for anything anymore except points, so... You get the savings anyway. <laughs> you see the, the gears turning and the head exploding. So, if that's the case, then why don't they just list the price that it's going to be anyway? I mean, you know, the prices that they list are ridiculous and discouraging until you realize you're getting the savings anyway, so. Don't ask me. Anyway, one last stop then. Home, home, woohoo. Kind of hard to tell we're wa oops walking the dogs there we go <laughs> jimmy keeps sitting down because he doesn't like his top knot we just went to choich and we're walking the dogs before we have our coffee and jimmy is hilarious what's wrong jimmy you don't like that top knot you don't like the way we tied that to keep you from peeing on your sweater <laughs> 
Ty is over there trying to tie Luke's shoe. He's tripping and it's cold for, but it's a good walk, good time to walk. Uh-huh, I know what she's doing. So far she's getting it. She's getting it. All right, well, that's a good try. Well, she didn't really get it, but close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. Here's a mural of the history of the area done by Alexander Austin. Burr, it's cold. Need to button up. Sai is cold. They are completely redoing all of Troost. This is like more or less like downtown Troost, Troost and 31st Street. And they're redoing all of this. Pretty cool. Proust Midtown, now leasing. Jimmy's getting used to his top knot there. <laughs> and everything around here is getting changed. Hopefully for the better. It's definitely needed. Another Alexander Austin mural over there with Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King. What's wrong? You cold or something? <laughs> They're cold. Yep, I love the old houses here and all these old neighborhoods. Pretty cool. Nice. Gotta get some coffee. And steamer.